This video will help you with choosing a competitive budget and offer for your print ads campaign. The first step is to specify your campaign budget. Since it's likely that not all of your offers will be accepted by newspapers, we recommend that you bid on more newspapers than you actually need and set a weekly campaign budget to make sure that you don't overspend. Once a newspaper accepts your offer and you have reached your preset budget, all of your outstanding offers will be revoked from the system. We suggest that you set your budget to the highest amount you're willing to spend on a specific print ads campaign each week. Budgets vary with business and marketing goals, but keep in mind that national newspaper campaigns will require higher budgets than local newspaper campaigns. Also, note that your budget must be higher than any of your individual newspaper offers. If you don't set a weekly budget, you'll be able to spend up to the sum of your accepted offers. You can refer to the Max Cost column located on the Campaign Summary page of your booked print ads campaign to see the highest possible total of all of your offers for that campaign. Now that you've set your weekly budget, you can move on to selecting the section you'd like to run in, the size of your ad creative, and how often you'd like your ads to run. You can run black and white or color ads. To run color ads, just check this box titled Run This Ad in Color. Note that rates will vary depending upon which section, ad size, day of the week, and color option you've selected. When selecting how often your ads run, keep in mind an important concept of frequency. Frequency refers to how often an ad should run. Studies have shown a high correlation between high frequency ads and positive lift in site traffic, so we recommend that your ad runs at least three times in each paper for a minimum of two weeks. You can also use this drop-down menu to set a weekly frequency limit for your campaign, which allows you to limit the number of days per week your ad will run. After choosing how often your ad runs, you'll need to choose your pricing model. You can choose from the following pricing models, per issue, CPM, per column inch, or CPM per column inch. Note that per issue is the default setting, and this is how much it would cost to run an ad for a day in a particular paper. If you're a new advertiser, this is the easiest pricing model for understanding what your total spend would be. Another option is the CPM pricing model. Here you have the option to bid for every thousand impressions, or in other words, this is how much it would cost for you to reach 1,000 readers. If you do online advertising, this option is very similar to your online buys. You can also bid per column inch, which is another way of saying bidding by ad size, and this is an easy way to compare one publisher to another as well as different ad sizes. Finally, you have the CPM per column inch pricing option, which signifies how much it would cost to reach 1,000 people in terms of the size of the ad. This is used by most newspapers and allows you to compare across publishers and sizes in terms of every 1,000 readers. After picking your pricing model, you're now ready to set your initial offer. Your offer can be any price that ranges between the minimum bid set by Google and the maximum bid, which is the publisher's listed rate. The minimum offer price is in place to give you a better idea of what publishers generally find acceptable and to help you create print campaigns that have a good chance of being effective and meeting your goals. The maximum offer price, also known as list price, is the newspaper's published price for the specific section, ad size, and dates that you've selected. The listed rate shown in your account is meant only to provide you with a starting point for making an offer. The price you choose between these two limits is completely up to you. This green line marks the median accepted price across all similar offers in our system. Half of all offers accepted by that type of publication will fall above this point and half below. This data is an aggregate comparison of all offers made to newspapers that are similar to your selected paper. Note that this data is not specific to any one newspaper, nor to your personal bidding history. We recommend setting your initial bid at the median price for the publisher. However, note that your closer your bid is to the list price, the more likely a publisher is to accept your offer. The publisher will notify you if your offer has been accepted via the feedback loop. 
If your offer is declined, you'll be able to negotiate with the publisher for the best price via this feedback loop. Now that you've set a bid for this newspaper, you're ready to move on to your next publication. Simply click Next and repeat the process for the next paper.